Before, if you were out in an EV and you had to stop somewhere to recharge, you'd end up in a place like this Electrify America station, which, if you have a sedan or a small crossover like this Ionic 5, it's easy to get in and out of. But what if it's raining, which it's almost about to do today, or what if you're towing a trailer? You're going to have to disconnect that trailer and back in. Surely there has to be a better way. There is a solution, and it comes from GM Energy and Flying J. It's one of these new pull-through charging installations that includes both a roof and amenities, and it's designed to be the future of refueling your electric vehicle. Well, at least right now, if you have a CCS connector and one's near where your house is. But let's take a tour to see what it's like. Before we take a tour of the station, let's go ahead and get the Psionic 5 plugged in. You just walk up to the EVgo station. These particular stations are powered by both EVgo and GM Energy. It turns out that GM actually used an AI system to determine the best place to deploy these units. So this just happens to be one of those. Though, if you look at the screen, it works typically like a normal EVgo type of unit. These units will do up to 350 kilowatts, but they are load balanced between the two. So if somebody is charging next to you, you are going to be sharing some of that electricity. But to get started, you just like any other charging session, grab the charger, open the charging door, pull the stupid little flap down because we can't have nice things, and plug in the CCS connector. It says that our side is in use, so we'll need to start the charging session on the phone. You'll want to open the EVgo app on your phone and find the station that you're at. Then you're going to want to identify your charger. It'll be listed on the charger. Ours is the one that ends in 76. So we'll select that one, hit start charging, and it'll take about a minute for everything to get started. So while we're charging, let's go ahead and take a quick tour. Obviously, as you can see, the car is charging. We are in one of the middle pull-through spots, meaning you could have a trailer and you wouldn't have to disconnect it. The same goes to the outside spots because you pull in from the streets and then you pull forward into the Flying J where the, the fuel port is and the food and snacks. And now there's clean restrooms here and food and snacks and everything that you would expect. Other amenities out here include, looks like a windshield washer cleaner, but I do not see any trash cans, which is a little bit, I think, of a miss. But the big takeaway, the big exciting thing is you have this canopy, this massive canopy to cover if you're raining, which it mimics the regular gas station. So that's pretty, pretty darn cool. At today's 54 cents a kilowatt hour, it's about on par with what Electrify America will be charging. Though if you are at one of the 65 cent stations, that can get pretty pricey pretty quick. But for the amenities that you can get while charging here, such as an overhead covering, actual working chargers, and food and restaurant right behind you, it might be worth it for you. Remember, most of the time you're charging at home anyways, and in Ohio, which is where I'm at right now, you're paying right around 13 cents a kilowatt hour. So if you have the ability to have a level two charger at home and you have an EV, you're gonna wanna use one of those. Speaking of towing with an EV, we recently did just that with a Ford F-150 Lightning towing a Tesla Model 3. We knew we would lose some range, but how much did we lose? Click the on-screen link to find out.